Well, a lot of people know me from my goofy ads on TV and walking around in my question mark suits. I wear them every day. <laughs> but I'm really a financial columnist. Man, I got an MBA in computers back in the 70s. I started a couple information businesses that made millions of dollars. Out of it. But I've, I've written columns, financial columns for the New York Times and Good Housekeeping Magazine and the Chicago Tribune. And, and, and I've even been on most talk shows you can imagine. Letterman, I've been on Oprah a couple times. Larry King and uh, to today's show. But what I'm really trying to do is educate people about the alternative sources of monies out there. You don't have to pay for anything. And now in the new economy, there's new ways to do anything. So I've been educating people for almost 40 years now. I've sold over 4 million books. <laughs> I got two awards from the American Library Association and two New York Times bestsellers. And I'm still doing that. I mean, on YouTube, I have a subscription. You can join and watch my shows. I do almost a video every day telling you about new things that you had no idea you could take advantage of. These are alternative sources of money and help to do anything you want in life. And that's the problem. Now it's easier than ever because of the internet and the shared economy and government programs that aren't advertised. You won't find this stuff at Google. <laughs> so, so take advantage of it. And if you don't have anybody to tell you about it, I'm going to tell you about it because you can't find it in Google. Google's just going to tell you about stuff that, <laughs> that, that is not for free because they collect advertising money. And the people who have lots of money to spend on advertising, you're going to know about them. The stuff that's free and they have no money to tell you about it, you're never going to find. And so that's what I do. And I plan to do that for at least 20, 30 more years. I'm an old guy, but I'm going to do this until I die. So get the best you can out of life and let me help you do it. Okay, let's see if we can help you make some money, save some money, or get some bills paid down there in Greensboro, North Carolina. Okay, uh, okay, the city programs. You know, that's the first place I started here. And I, I see there's a program, $5,000 to help you buy a home. Huh, not bad. Then there's $43,000 to help you fix up a home. You know, uh, hmm, that's pretty good too, huh? Uh, now we have uh, to make your home handicapped accessible. Maybe you or a family member needs a, you know, um, something to come up the steps in the house, and then there's five thousand dollars for that. Or how about grant money to remove lead paint? Oh, well, here's an interesting thing. Downtown, they have twenty-five thousand dollars for you to start a business downtown, and then a next year, two thousand five hundred dollars to put a sign on your business or to paint it or fix it up or something like that. You know, that's pretty cool. So, you know, that may be something you always wanted a business downtown. Well, there's $25,000 to do that. Okay, free computer classes. I mean, this is interesting at, at your public library. They have that. And, you know, it's also they you should check. And I have a video here of libraries now are starting to offer, you know, computer help. Like, how do I set up a website? on the internet or how do I you know do my Facebook stuff or whatever and, and they do one-on-one -on -one counseling now so so check if your library does that now the other thing about the library ad you're looking for grant money they have a database access to a book there's a book that's put out by the foundation center and an online database that shows grants for individuals they have this at the library free and they have a one for actually uh, there's about 10,000 private grants for individuals, and that may be worth investigating. And then if you're looking for a grant, particularly as a nonprofit, they have another database that's worth about $1,000 that you could use down there for free. So, I mean, people are forgetting what's available at the public library. You want to know something, particularly, you know, help in town. You're a reference librarian. Man, they're terrific people, and they're free. If you Google this kind of stuff, you're going to get somebody who's going to charge you hundreds, thousands, or whatever they could get from you. <laughs> you know, to solve your problem. And that's that you don't know the options. And that's the problem to me with Google. Google is eliminating options for us. All you know about is the people who are going to charge you money. And you have more options than that. Like here, right? Public library, you could use that for free. And you don't have to buy that thing <laughs> that they're selling, you know, on, on uh, Google. Okay, free help with affordable housing. That's a clearinghouse coalition that will help you. Uh, healthy homes offers free assistance, can get rid of 
home health and safety hazards. So if you're a homeowner or even a renter or whatever, I mean, this one makes sure your health, your house is healthy and safe and things like that. Okay, let's get to the county level. Your county has a gazillion things for health care. I mean, that's what people don't realize. Man, your county is a great place for anything to do with health care. Look for health care, health problem, look at uh, tobacco use prevention programs, all this kind of stuff. All the programs are all listed in these links I, I gave you. You know, when you contact one, I also have a um, a video here of the, our county health official that we have here and she explains that they're there to help you with any kind of health problem for free again you're going to go healthcare is a big business big industry everybody wants to charge you money and, and you want to get the free ones I mean we pay like double the for health care than any other developed nation in the world which is crazy now the other thing is dental care see even with Obamacare and things like that people are paying for, you know have to pay for dental care okay where do you get this for free okay here dental clinical missions but this is the dental society in your state capital that goes around giving free um, dental work here's safety net dental clinics okay these are clinics with apple you know they have sliding scales you know uh, programs depending on your income how much you're going to pay also the dental schools i show you how to get care that's a fraction of the price at the dental uh, at the dental schools or here uh, dental care for seniors and caregivers you're taking care of your mother your loved ones and stuff like this and here's a national database of how to get dental or health care uh, from clinics that have sliding scales so i mean they'll pay if you have money to pay if they don't they have some other arrangement you know cheaper plans to, to make sure you get the care I mean this is a, to me a travesty in our country we're the richest company in the world and we got the worst health care in the world and charge the most and we still have like I don't know 40 50,000 people without health insurance and it's terrible so here's a, here's a, uh, a database you know to so help solve that problem and then hospitals that have to treat you for free there's about 150 hospitals around the country see if there's some in your area because they have to treat you for free if you know about it but they're not going to have a sign in the door free care some come and get it you have to know about it here's how to get free prescription drugs again this is an income based uh, program but man you see a video here of a young woman you know that gets three hundred dollars worth of prescription drugs for free because she couldn't afford it uh free help collecting child support actually there's a database we have in the top 25 programs later on in this list people are not even picking up their child support money not only will they go out and chase down people who owe child support money but they put it in a big fund and you got to go collect it so you can call that and see if any of your child support money is there or free services for victims of domestic violence sexual assault child abuse and elder abuse or free veterans discounts you know at local merchants they have a veterans card and eh, that sort of may be fun for people uh, where we at daycare uh, child care safety net sorry I'm going over this again public health care fact sheets we talked about oh I, I know I'm going up and not down on my <laughs> these arrow buttons man the old guys can't get it right money for emergencies and food and work and health care that's a program where you s sign up for that free services of consulting for gardening architectural family financing entrepreneuring and energy efficiency people forget about their county cooperative extension services then they do all the kind of stuff like that you want to start out business in your kitchen you know making hoagies for for the workforce that's around or something like that for noontime how do you do that they'll help you with that's food related they know how to start food related businesses and you, know, you gotta get rid of gophers in your backyard or, or how to start a backyard garden so you don't have to pay so much on on uh, bills you know at the grocery store i mean people it would be nicer i mean last night we had uh my son growing vegetables in the back garden and wonderful tomatoes in our salad from his garden is great grants for creating jobs now this is in your uh your your county that has that eight thousand dollars to train for a new job too now this is wonderful you're looking for work and oh if i only had this skill that skill you want to do or you want to become a massage therapist or something like that this is where you get money for do that and there's the people that to, to, to do it or how about here's a listing of all the approved short courses that lead to better jobs. Look at that list of courses and then see if you can get the money from the other link there to, to pay for that course. That's what the money's for. Okay, now make sure you get 
make an appointment with a, a local free financial counselor. These people get grants to help you with your financial problems. You know, you pay bills, you're late paying the bills. I mean, all this stuff. If, again, you're going to use Google. You're going to get people who are going to get money from you, and you don't want to do that. These people are nonprofit organizations that's getting grant money to do the same thing the other people are charging you for. And I got uh, <clears throat> videos here of uh, sample people that do that. And also the county cooperative extension services does that. Uh, here's uh, a video on how they do it and, and where to check on your local market or the free legal services to adopt a grandchild or relative. And that's good. Actually, there's a lot of grandparents that are adopting grandkids now. For one reason or another, the, the parents aren't doing a good job. So the grandparents, the grandparents are living long. So it makes sense. And here's how to get free legal help to do it. You're going to call an attorney, they're going to get a big bill for you. Or financial help and services for caregivers and seniors. Free money to live on while you start a business. That's right. This is what you could do with your unemployment money. It doesn't work in every county, but here, I, I gave you the link for your county to check if it's there. Now, this is interesting. It's free consulting on anything involving you working as an independent person. So if you want to be an Uber driver, you want to be a freelancer, you want to start a business, you want to be a nonprofit organization, you work, oh, what do I do with taxes? What do I do with publicity? What do I do? I need some technical help. These people do it for free. Any kind of thing like that. It's free. I have videos that show you how, how they're all about it. See, if you go on the internet and look for people to do that, they're going to charge you a whole ton of money. You know, to do that. And you don't have to, because these people will do it for free. You know, so why pay when you could get it for free? Anything like that. You're worried about getting credit. You worry about a contract. They'll help you with all that kind of stuff. And actually, here's something for uh, veterans to apply for their service. These are county uh, veteran services uh, people that are getting twice as much money for veterans as people who don't use these people. So these are people the government are giving grants to for you to get twice as much money from the government. <laughs> now, isn't that great? <laughs> Could you imagine you know, uh, uh, General Motors hiring somebody else to teach you how to you know, get a better deal at Gen General Motors, right? No, they think they're giving the best deal in the world, yeah, but they are. Yeah. So, but the government <laughs> does that. Uh, free help to pay for rental housing, 211. That's a number, man. Everybody should know about it because all the stuff that's not in Google, so much of it you could find in 211. And it's a phone number. You just dial 211 and say, hey, I'm looking for training money or I'm looking for help to pay my mortgage. Okay, in 2211, they have 85 programs. These are nonprofit organizations and other people that help with paying your mortgage. Wow, you know, <laughs> you'll never find them in Google, you know, uh, and that's why it's worth calling too because they know the better ones or whatever. They've been there a while. You get to know stuff when you use it a couple of times. You and I are using it for the first time, so we're not going to know as much as those people on the phone. So there's 85 programs for um you know, mortgage, eight programs for dental care, 90 programs for emergency cash, 90 programs for emergency cash. Wow. Nine programs for car repairs, 196 programs for job training, 56 programs for home repair, 86 programs for fix up your home. Gosh, I mean, just think of all that stuff. Okay, uh, here's another thing. Your local community action agency. These are people, you know, on, on the lower income scale, and that income scale, I mean, is up to $40,000 or more now in most places in the country. So uh, they help you learn about all the programs that are available. So look, at they have a Head Start program, uh, Earned Income Tax Credit. So they have a list. They've done this all the time. So check with them. What are you missing? Things like that. You know, Low Income Energy Assistance Program. You know, I'm eligible for that. So that's a one-stop, you know, kind of thing for a lot of this stuff. Okay, here. Owners and renters can get money to buy or repair heating and cooling system. So you rent some somebody and they got a lousy air conditioner. Here's where to get money from that. Yeah. Uh, Okay, help to pay for increased utility bills for medical equipment, that's right. So you have a CPAC machine and it's running all night and just running up your utility bill or whatever it is, and, and then you can get extra money to pay for that. Emergency financial assistance for utility bills and more. $15,000 to help buy a home. Three ways to get money to repair your home. Okay, $36,000 to help stop mortgage foreclosure. 
You'll be high on your mortgage, 36,000 bucks. State money for college, people forget about that. Uh, $15,000 to help buy a home. Three ways, oh, uh, I, I went through that. Why do I keep saying things over again? <laughs> it's the arrow buttons on my computer. Money to pay for childcare. Money for help with people with disability. Take advantage of technology, that's right. This is any kind of disability you have. You need a better computer. You need a van and things like that. You know that, that you you need technology to help your have a better life. They help you with this. A hotline for free unbiased health care. You know uh, for seniors. I mean seniors all of a sudden. Oh, I Medicaid. What's the best thing? Well, this is a free service that helps you choose the best health system for you. Free treatment facilities for mental illness and substance abuse, all this stuff. $30,000 for victims of crime <coughs> who lost wages or medical pay for medical care. $12,000 grants for artists, you know, in North Carolina. Or $15,000 for historic preservation, for low-cost spay and neuter uh, programs. Free and low-cost pet medical care. I don't know, that's important. Uh, that there. Okay, here's that. Here are banks, banks that will put extra money into your savings account. That's right. If you put a dollar in your savings account, they'll put in three more dollars or five more dollars. Wow, who would have thought anybody would do that? Well, they do, <laughs> and you can get it done. Uh, and here's the banks in North Carolina to do that. I would contact every one of them. Okay, here's the top 25 grant programs and free services in, in, in your state. <coughs> You know, I'll get uh, money to pay for phone uh, bills, money to pay utility bills, unclaimed money. Man, my, my wife found for her mother $15,000 were just sitting in the state capitol and got it. it. Don't know, there's actually unclaimed uh, child care money. There's like a half a trillion dollars or whatever that's sitting there, you know, in state capitals that people haven't played, uh, picked up for child care. See, the government... Well, it goes out and gets people's wages and tax return money and everything, and it sits there for people to come and claim it. So that's a good place to call. Uh, transportation, free care, free cheap care for seniors, extra spending money for seniors. You know, an extra five thousand eight hundred seventy-one dollars from the IRS. That's right, they give you extra money no matter how much money. You don't even have to pay taxes, and they're giving you money back. <laughs> Weatherize your home, uh, uh, heating and cooling bills. You know, uh, let's see, what else we have? Oh, I have a video for each one of those 25 programs. So all you have to do is click on the video, you're interested in one of those programs, I, I give you the details, and then you have the link. Now here, your student loan debt. People don't realize, you know, uh, you know, because there's so many people selling you something to fix your student loan debt, and it's just, anything that's going to fix your loan debt is a government program, and so these people are just making money off you. And actually, the government says itself, you see in their literature, don't believe anybody who says you got to use them to fix it no here's the information on how to do it yourself i mean they'll they'll fix your debt depending on how much money you make like so you only have to pay five dollars a month on your student debt and after like 15 20 years if you still have debt left which you will <laughs> they forgive it so that's how to get a lot of your student to get forgiven but you have to know about the programs and, and that's where they are that's how to find out about it i tell you about it and just don't believe what you read on the internet because it's people selling you stuff um uh, let's see, and even the, the plus loans, which is a little different. I'll give you information there. I got two videos and everything. Crowdfunding. I don't know if you know about crowdfunding, but this is a way to, to generate money for anything. And to me, it's better, faster, cheaper than even getting a government grant. You know? and, and this is money from the crowds on the internet. This is growing exponentially every year. Actually, now crowdfunding sites, just one crowdfunding sites, give more money, to, to free money to artists than the government does at the National Endowment of the Arts, which is our national you know, foundation that gives money to artists. So they're beating them out already. This is on the internet. This is with the power of crowds and the community. And it's free. You know, you don't have that. And it's easier than any government form you're ever going to see. You know, it takes work, sure, to, to let people know that you're fundraising. But there's no income requirements for this. There's no credit check. You keep the money forever. No complicated forms or business plans. No lawyers. No 
accountants. It's fast. You don't have to put up with fat cat gatekeepers. Yeah, <laughs> because yeah, it's the crowds. It's not some fat cat determining your success or failure. They're not going to be your customer or care about what you're doing. They just say, hey, well, let's sell. And nobody knows till you do it. That's why I do it. So it's a better guarantee of your ultimate success because the crowds are saying, yes, I'll give you money today for something you'll send me next year. Ooh, yeah, could you imagine going into uh, uh, Macy's or something like that and, and say, hey, I want this sweater and I'll pick it up next year. Here's the money. This is what crowdfunding is like. So it's also a great place to fail. You know? And they're the main sites that do this. I have videos there of people have done it. You know, they, uh, people who like working part time, they invest $11 and they get $89,000 in 30 days for their little business idea. They don't even have the thing yet, right? People are just buying a dream and sending you money. Hey, would you like one of these if I ever make it? You know, send me a hundred bucks. Okay. <laughs> it's crazy, but that's what happened. But see, you can also use it to get extra money paying your bills and expenses. Now here, $10,000 to pay for a wedding, $9,000 for dog surgery, right? Cause that's expensive, right? Uh, a cancer patient, you know, sixty thousand dollars, you know, because they learned how to do it on company. He had to quit his job and things like that, and so that's why. Listen, and people are helping other people. Here's a guy, a woman who who uh, involved in a traffic accident. The, uh, the person in front of him really got slammed, you know, and he f was thrown out of the car. And she went over, held him in the field till the ambulance came in. He lost his hand. She went back to her, you know house and went on the internet and raised seventy-five thousand dollars for this guy to get a new hand that's right obama is even using crowdfunding right he wanted money for the refugees the, the you know capitol hill wouldn't give it to him <laughs> all these congressmen and senators wouldn't cooperate so he went crowdfunded man yeah, he got millions of dollars i think about a million or whatever to help the refugees see it, it, it's out there now also for loans see you get rid of the fat cat middleman for loans and peer-to-peer -peer lending why go to the bank you know and and you bar you, you put money in the bank for two percent interest and then you come to borrow it and they charge you 12 percent you know, who's making that 10%? The bank, right? Yeah. Now you cut out that middleman and, and you go to one of these platforms that do this and it, it's, I don't hear any people losing money and stuff like this. And it, it's, it's like half of that. So instead of getting 1% from the bank, you're not getting three, four, five percent on your money. Instead of borrowing money at 12%, you're borrowing at seven or 8%. Wow, you know, so these fat cats are gonna go away someday, you know, it won't be overnight, but this is the growing part of our economy. And also community banks. People don't realize these are nicer banks. These are banks that don't worry about stockholders. Yeah, you know, they worry about the community, you know, and stuff like that. So they're nicer to deal with. You know, they're more reasonable. And actually, they even get government money to help them survive so they could be nice. <laughs> and, and so realize that they're available. And, and here's another very interesting way to get extra money. It's now, no matter what you have in our shared economy, you have extra something. You have extra time in your car you're not using. You have an extra you know, couch in your house you're not using. You have an, a, a clothes in your closet you're not using anymore. You got a bicycle you rarely use or whatever. Or you got time once in a while, you know, that you're not really using. All that, you could act like a capitalist. Now, because you're, you know, capitalists are people who, who have capital and make it work for them. So take your junk, your capital, whatever you got a car sitting in the garage. Well, now, you know, they show that oh, we use our car only 90%, a nine, a 10% of the time. So 90% of the time we're not using it. So you're a capitalist. You got this capital sitting there. It'll make money for you. People will rent your car no matter what it is. And, and there's a platform that takes away all that. You got a sofa you're not using, an extra bedroom or whatever. See, you can put on this platform. See, before it used to be a pain, but I got to put notices up all over the county, you know, and, and in the supermarket about this available thing. No, you just go right on the platform. And see, the platform not only brings you customers, but it checks out the people's credit rating. You know, make sure you get paid. You don't have to worry about getting paid. Things like, and this is where the booming economy is, man. You know, traditional jobs are shrinking. It's this non-traditional way of making money that's growing. And see what's so great about it, 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 it is 
There's no fancy resumes. There's no boss, no schedule. You work when you want, work for the salary you want. You only do what you want. It. Hey, you know, I don't want to work today. I want to go play golf. You don't have to call the boss and make an excuse about your grandmother dying for the fifth time in your life. You know, <laughs> it's just wonderful. You know, you want to have a long lunch with your, your lover? Fine, you know, nobody cares. You're on and on. Actually, you know, I ran into a guy on the street the other day who was a translator working for the State Department, translator, lost his job. He's delivering on his bicycle. He said he's get exercise like never before. It's terrific. Yeah, and, and uh, yeah, and he's making extra money, making ends meet, you know, only when he wants to, you know. So it's a neat thing, and, and there's a thousand ways to do it. I got 46 ways to do that here, and there's a website at the end of this 46 list <clears throat> that you can go to because a lot on that 46 list, I'd say about half, are evaluated. They tell you how much the people are really making and all this kind of stuff to know more details uh, from an independent party. So this is a pretty good group, peers.org, <clears throat> that's doing this. And uh, you see the people that use this, I mean, they're making 15 to $25 an hour on most of these things, but it's, it's stuff you do with no talent, no skills, or whatever. <coughs> There's other websites I have up there that require some kill. I mean, you could be a, a freelance you know, podiatrist if you want, you know, and, and get money from one of these websites. You know, you do, you do computer work, you do it on the side, you're a plumber, you know, you can do it on the side, you know, uh, like this, just when you want it. And that's the other thing. Now, also here, I, I list a, a bunch of other internet opportunities, like how to make money by having people over to dinner, or how to save 40% on your car repair bills, or you got extra money, you know, I mean, extra land, you know, you got a piece of land somewhere, how you can make 30,000 bucks a year with an extra piece of land, you know, or, or you, you have a, a camera, a phone on your camera. I mean, there's a company that will hire you, short little jobs, you know, uh, wherever you are, because they need it done. Some company wants a photo or something or other, you know, the storefront or whatever, and, and, and you could do it for them just if you want to. So don't worry about it. You know, uh, or here, you could make $1,500 sitting on your butt. That's right. <laughs> Waiting in line for somebody. You know, in big cities, they have this. They pay people to wait in line. Now they have a website to that. So you make that, you know, like 20, 20 bucks an hour, whatever it is, waiting in line. So you bring a phone, uh, you bring a, a book or an iPhone or uh, a Kindle, whatever, and a folding chair, and, and you make 20 bucks an hour sitting on your butt. Now that's pretty cool. Uh, or here, you love pets. And if you had an extra dog or two around the house, and people make them thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 a year doing that because people hate to take their dogs to kennels, you know, they rather to have it at a nice person's house, you know, and again, it's one of these things you don't have to worry about getting paid, you know, because the platform does all that and then make sure all that happens. Here's how to get free Wi-Fi, uh, stuff like all this little stuff that people don't know. And also people don't realize how easy it is to start a store now. For 20 cents, you could be in the biggest mall in the world, you know, anywhere in the world, and all it takes is 20 cents. And so anything you want to sell, man, don't go in the malls, you know, try something like this. It costs nothing. More and more people are doing this, and you, whatever the weird stuff you think is weird, there's, you know, all you need is 100 people around the world that think it's weird too, and they're there. And this is the way to find them and make a living giving them this weird stuff that you love making. And, and I show you how to do things. Uh, I show you how to what to think about business. Here, here's um, how to get a fast $700 um, when you need emergency money. I have a download for that. And how to, well, what to do getting back at bad businesses and professionals. And, and that's here. I mean, it's silly. Uh, you know, how, how we, we think companies have so much power and the only power we could get back over the companies is, you know, by hiring an attorney. And you don't because everybody in the country is regulated by some government official, you know, and that government official has the power to put that professional, that business or whatever out of business, you know, uh, so it, it's. It's amazing that people don't realize that, you know, and you can use that to your advantage because, um, God, I mean, they're afraid of them. See, these businesses are professionals. Your doctor messes you over. Your lawyer messes you over. The dry cleaner messes you over. You know, you go to one of these offices I have here, you know, and they will investigate. See, and, and, and the lawyer doesn't want to be, you know, on some bad list. 
you know, and, and so they'll pay you off. The, the dry cleaners the same way, you know, because they may lose their license and, and, and not be able to work again. See, everybody is regulated. So that's why there's no reason not to have, uh, <laughs> you know, oh gosh, it's amazing to me that, that we give up so easily when there's so much power. These are the same people who fight war, wars all over the world will fight for you. That's their job and they cost nothing. So don't forget to use the service. I mean, it's amazing how, I mean, I'm getting so much money back from people because I, I just sent a letter to the people who regulate those people. And then this pe person who owes me the money gets a, a letter. Oh, I don't want to deal with the government, right? I'd rather pay me off. Yeah. And a big company is like that because they'd rather pay you, like your insurance company, rather pay you $1,000, $2,000 because it would cost them $10,000 to talk to the government because they're as big as the government. And to talk to someone so big, it costs a lot of money and paperwork and everything. So it's cheaper to pay you off. Oh, one more thing. <laughs> There's three things at the end here to help you find things that you can't find yourself, okay? So these are three places to find help because the thing about finding help is to find people who would know or do, do this before. So the places, 211, your library, and your elected official, they've all, whatever problem you've had, they've had it before and they could show you what they've learned and were you know, shortcut the research for you, you know, instead of you going, you know, place by place. And the other thing about doing any research is one major, I think, rule of researching anything. Never leave empty handed, okay? If someone you contact can't help you, you ask them, who else do you think can help me? That's the key to finding what you Okay, let me see if I can help you with your <laughs> late payment on your mortgage and trying to exist while you start that new business of yours. Uh, and, and here's, you know, I have about 100 sources at least in this uh, report for you. But I, what I put out here in the front are the ones I think you should start with first. You know, for the mortgage, now, uh, the government in, in California there has a, a California foreclosed prevention program. So they have a program, that, you know, they like, give you up the $54,000 to help you pay your mortgage. Now, there's two links on there. It shows you the details of the program and, and where to apply for it. So I, I would start there if I were you uh, <clears throat> to find out about that program. Now also make an appointment with your local HUD counseling office. And there are offices all over you know, the country actually that sit down with you for free because they don't want you to lose your home. So they'll know of little stuff that, I mean, I've been researching this stuff for 40 years, but they still may know of something you know in the laws that are locally there and, and how to solve any problem like that and they're free because if you google this you're going to run into people who are going to charge a lot of money or try to sell you money or, or whatever and you don't want to do that so that's what i want to make sure that people use the free stuff first uh and then also see here there's something uh the home ownership preservation foundation now, this is you should call because they may, these are government programs that could readjust your mortgage so you could take care of it easier. You know, so that's what I would do on there too, because it just takes a phone call. You know, you see if you're eligible for one of these programs, you call a mortgage broker, they're going to sell you something. These people aren't there to sell you something. They're there to know the existing programs and how they're going to fit for you. And that's, that's the important thing about this. And then also locally there, I show you where to get free legal help for foreclosure. These are nonprofit organizations and free foreclosure counseling. You know, you may want to even talk to them first because they may know other ways. So you're, you're not there yet, 
but you know you're trying to prevent that so that's why these sources may help you prevent that and I would contact them just to see and now here's something that I thought would be good for your business so you're trying to get customers for your business so this is a local business a nonprofit organization that gets grants from the government and other nonprofits to help you grow your business. So what they do will give you free management consulting help. They help you find new markets. They help you, you know, with legal problems, uh, financial problems, anything for that for you, you know, as a business. So that's why even though maybe you're just a rep or something, but that's a business. You have a business that you're trying to grow, and these people are there to help you grow that business. And see so if you again, if you Google something help like that marketing help or something for uh, for yourself you're gonna get people gonna sell you things you know and these people won't be there because they don't have advertising money and that's the thing so they're not gonna advertise you won't see them on Google you know you'll get you know five million websites and these people will be on page 37 now also there's another thing here that you may not be aware of it because you're technically out of work in a way <laughs> and even though you're not looking for a job you may be able to use unemployment while you start your business now it varies by state by state and county and all this kind of stuff but here's your local office to check if that is available and again if any of these things you know don't work out uh, at the end of the report I show you how to call your local elected official so if one of these offices give you the runaround or you're not sure you're getting the straight answer you contact your elected official and, and all the contact information is at the end of the report uh, to check up make sure sure hey you, you know just tell them hey I contacted stuff I'm not sure I'm getting the straight deal and they'll call them for you and make sure you are uh, okay so free management self so, uh, freelancer free money to live on while you start your own business uh, okay getting customers for free oh, oh there's another thing too training See, in other words, there's training money for you as a small business. So as you as a small business, you get up to like $8,000 to train on a skill. So maybe you need skills for marketing skills or you want to learn, you know, some computer app or something like that. You need a few hundred or a few thousand dollars to do that. So this may be available to too because, I mean, people, businesses could get up hundreds of thousands of dollars to make you competitive and to keep you and your business growing. So that's what you have, you know. It, is a business so that's what these programs are there for uh, also another way of getting customers I think you know in the new economy and the way things are organized is in a startup group yeah and 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 uh, uh, Oh, I, I know. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I have that later uh, in the start. But here are some ideas I had. I'm, I'm getting uh, you know customers because actually you could get all the money in the world and if you don't have customers then you know you're really out of business so that's why to me is don't spend money on anything else until you get customers so here are some ideas that I had about getting customers and one is the startup group you know it's called meetup.org you could go on there and like I did it for your zip code and, and put it in there you know within 10 miles and look for business groups you know, and there are hundreds of business groups, you know, right in within 10 miles of you that meet every day, every week, or once a month or whatever, you know, uh, that you could join for nothing or $10 and find potential customers. Look at the groups, you know, see if these are the kind of people. Maybe you're looking for single moms or something like that, you know, uh, or people with small business owners or, or whatever it is. You know, there, there's a meetup group for that, and they're all in a barrel. So why, why buy some mailing lists? Why do something when you have a source like this for free to find them? Also, don't forget, you could start your own personal website, you know, for any kind of business or representative you are, you know, and, and that, that, that's nothing nowadays, you know, and you could, you know, do it for $10 a month, and if you don't even know, uh, and it's just cut and paste to do it yourself, uh, and if you have problems, you could get any technical problem solved for like $5 on something called Fiverr.com. I, I, I got all the lists here. So it's very easy now to set up your own website, you know, for next to nothing, and, and have something. That's a business card today with anybody. Also, another way to attract uh, customers, if you have an idea, you know, if something you're 
you're selling or whatever it is, but you could use your local public library to hold public meetings. Now you can't use it for sales. So if you're in a, you're selling life insurance or something like that, you don't want to say how to buy life insurance or something, and you turn out to be a life insurance salesman. You want to you have something about maybe you know financial planning for the future or something like that that you're going to give a free talk in the library and see they'll give you space for free you know promoted in their catalog for free or whatever so it's a way to find customers see to me there's always a way to find <laughs> free customers instead of buy it, buying them because if you're buying them you're going to run out of money uh and and that's uh, and you'll be out of business. So it's important that you keep trying to get customers for free. Uh, and another thing that people don't realize is that crowdfunding. Now back later on in the um, report, I have the details about crowdfunding and how to do that a little better. But here, what I put is some places, people who did crowdfunding for their mortgage payments, you know, and how they use that uh, to do it. And you see just on one of the websites, GoFundMe, and there's a half a dozen people right here. This one right, $3,000, this one $6,000, $9,000, $115,000, you know, for their mortgage payments. So that's available, that's an option, you know, and the best crowdfunding sites I have here. Okay, also I have here is a couple of videos I've made on how to find free customers how to get customers for free because you know again as i just mentioned the deal in in uh surviving in business is just getting a customer what kind of website you have what kind of you know business card you have or any of this kind of stuff or draperies or all the other fancy words it doesn't matter you know the, your lawyer advice your incorporated not incorporated none of that stuff matters about your success the only success the only thing that matters about your success is the fact whether you have a customer or not so these are some little tips of videos of, of how to get free customers okay now uh let's go through the programs here, I have the um, Elmont City programs, a lot of housing programs, like $6,000 to buy a new home, $35,000 to fix up a home, affordable renting, free legal help for housing discrimination. Now that's the most financial uh, programs that are available at your city. Uh, so let's go to the county now, Los Angeles County. Let's load it. Now, this is free online courses for anything. You're looking for courses. They have so many online courses. It's amazing. You can get a GED. You can learn algebra. You can learn computer skills by the best people in the world. They're really organized for that. So don't go online and try to get a course on doing something. They probably have a free online course there. And if you're not a computer geek and don't even know how to set up a, you know, like a Facebook page or anything, ask if they have free help for that a lot of video a lot of libraries are doing that now and here's a video of one that i interviewed uh, also what they have too is access to a couple of databases that will charge you you know like a thousand dollars a year to use you know there's uh they're by big organizations that maintain this data one is on like 140,000 grants that are available from foundations this is not government this is not individuals but this is just from foundations that give out grants mostly in nonprofits but they have another database there of, of 10,000 grants that go to private uh, individuals uh, and, and that may be of interest to you and that's like a hundred dollar book that you could use for free at the library so that's pretty cool other things sp uh, spay and neuter your pets you know get a discount on that discount on on taking care of your pets uh, district attorney will collect your bad debts now, isn't that great? Somebody writes you a bad check and the government will go after them. Okay, fine health care with or without uh, coverage. So you may have coverage for health care, you may not have. Free legal help for seniors. Uh, now, anything for seniors. This is a clearinghouse right in your neighborhood. So you're taking care of a senior. You are a senior, whatever. How to get free help and, and financial assistance or anything. Uh, free and low-cost health care. These are clinics all over the area there dental clinics that are available in California. A lot of people don't have, uh, you know, dental care. So these are free and low in sliding scales clinics for people who need dental work and can't afford, you know, the top dollar. <clears throat> My voice is going a little here. 
Now, here's the most important number I think that people don't realize. It's called 211. You could call that for any kind of financial problem, any kind of healthcare problem, emergency problem, or whatever. And they'll show you a nonprofit organization or a government office that helps with that. See, the problem in our society is that we. <laughs> We know where the people are who charge money. We don't know where the people are who don't charge money. And Google doesn't help you with that because none of the people who charge money are going to advertise to make sure you see them in Google. But this is a place that concentrates on all the people you can't find in Google. So, uh, and I, I have some uh, things here that uh, you find on them. Uh, let's see, there's free service uh, to help vets get twice as much money. Now, this is interesting. These are veterans, uh, people that help veterans. And I, I, there's a video here of an analysis of the work they do. When applying for veterans benefits, they could get you twice as much benefits than anybody else. I mean, that's amazing. So it's the government giving grants to somebody to help you figure out how to get more grants from the government. Now that's cool, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So you you want to know about that? Uh, okay, the California state uh, uh, programs programs feel free help in collecting child care money. Um, let's see. Oh, mortgage. See if you have a. a a good mortgage or not. You know, we talked about this up in the beginning. Okay, here's also $3,000 a month to pay your mortgage. That's another program. Uh, $15,000 a month down payment uh, to buy a house. Oh, here's interesting. You could save up for a house. You save a dollar, they're going to get, and you get $3. So they're putting two to one. Man, that's better than... Uh, you know, winning at Vegas. So you put in a million dollars, you're going to wind up with $3 million. All right, where else can you do that? Okay, get free financial help. We talked about that earlier. There's another place, too, at, at your county cooperative extension service has free financial help, too. Uh, okay, the uh, California Foreclosure Association, we talked about that. Energy bill assistance. Uh, hotline for... Uh, unbiased health care counseling for seniors. That's right. You know, because anybody, you know, confused on what to do with health care seniors and you go to somebody on Google for help, they're going to sell you something. These people don't sell you anything. They give you, you know, the facts, something. Here's $100 to hook up, $100 a month uh, to hook up $100 plus monthly discounts for your Wi-Fi and telephone, um, stuff for troops there. You know, you got, you, the government will collect on a bad check for you. Well, here, if you get hurt as a victim of crime, you you, you break your glasses, you, you date out of work or something, get up to $75,000 to pay for rent. Okay, here's more and, uh, health care and dental clinics uh, for you to get uh, free or, or sliding scale services. Hospitals that have to treat you for free if you can't afford to pay the bill. Here's free prescription dog, drugs. Now, these are income-based programs. You know, a lot of these are. Here's local banks, you know, that that get grants to help you build up your savings account. It's one of those like one for three or one for four. This isn't for housing, but this is for everything else. And there's about 12 in California, got them all there. Then we have 25 grants programs and free income programs in California. Everything there from uh, the missing money that people have applied for, like you have an old bill a deposit on a utility bill you forgot to collect or your grandmother left you some money in a the bank they forgot things like that or or actually you know there, there's even you know um, child support money that people aren't collecting that's like a half a trillion a billion dollars you know in these things that people don't know about and just call them give them your name and uh, they'll send you a check if you have some there an extra twelve hundred dollars for seniors that they're not collecting free help with your rent your heating bills weatherizing your home you know, five thousand eight hundred and seventy-one dollars extra for families. These are families are earning up to fifty thousand dollars a year. Uh, free help with child care uh, enforcement. You know, three hundred and fifty colleges you could go for free. You know, all this stuff there. Then they have a, a video on each one of these things. So they're there. You know, videos to give you the details of these things. You know, uh, on how to uh, what's there and then uh, for each of those twenty-five programs. So if you want to know the details, I'm losing my voice. I don't know what's going on. <clears throat> and I just spilled my water. But it's only water. What the heck?
Okay, now here's student loan debt. Everybody's got student loan debt, right? So, and there's people now selling you services, selling you help with your student loan debt. Don't do that. Don't talk to these people. Even the government says, you don't need a company to help you with your student loan debt. The government will show you how you can pay as little as $5 a month for the next 20 years. And then if you have anything left, they, they dismiss it and you don't have to pay the rest. You know, so you get rid of that kind of stuff. So all the forgiveness programs and everything, there's numbers to call, who to contact, you know, to get the facts on that so you don't have to, you know, go through one of these companies. And I got some videos on that there too. Uh, okay, now uh, here's how to make extra money yourself. You know, I told you about this earlier, $8,000 trained for a new job. So you get a new skill and then you could do something and, and train something, free money to live on. We talked about that and the free consulting. We talked about that earlier too. Crowdfunding. This is, boy, I mean, even if you're an insurance business, maybe there's a way for you to do a crowdfunding campaign or a separate campaign on the side. Or if you're an inventor, you want to start a nonprofit organization on the side. It costs nothing. This is a free way to raise money. You could raise a thousand to two hundred thousand dollars. People do it all the time. It takes work in, in, in getting the message out. But other than that, there's no credit check. There's no income requirements. You keep the money forever. It, it doesn't cost you a nickel to, 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 to try it. You know, you get the money fast. You know, there's no fat cat gatekeeper saying, hey, you know, this is a bad idea. No, the crowds tell you if that's a bad idea. And that's the way to learn. So then you do it. And it's a better guarantee success because if you have a little idea and you could get it out in the market, and see if people are going to support it, then you don't have to make like people go and don't they take have a picture of a product, they don't even have it yet. Put it on here and they say, Hey, it's gonna take me six months to make it. Who wants to buy it early? And when I get enough money, if I get fifteen thousand dollars, I'm gonna go make it, and you'll get one. So if they don't make fifteen thousand dollars, then you don't do it. If you do, you go make it, and six months later they get a product. Oh, that's amazing to me. I mean, who would ever go to Macy's, you know, and in October, uh, you know, buy something for next summer? But people are doing that. You know, it's crazy. But that's uh, it, it's a great way. It's growing more than ever now. Like artists get more money on that. So if you're an artist, uh, you get money for your art. There's even uh, a website called Patreon where where you have monthly money comes in they're giving out a million dollars a month for people to do their artwork you know I mean it, it, it's phenomenal to me nothing like this I got stories there people do all this stuff you know even how to use it for extra money to pay your bills like ten thousand dollars to pay for a wedding you know nine thousand dollars for dog surgery you know uh, gosh I mean he, he, here's a, a dad needs a heart transplant you know and he got forty five thousand dollars because he had to stop working you know, here's a woman who helps help the neighbor you know raise $75,000 because the guy lost his hand in an accident. So she went out and raised $75,000 for this guy to get a new hand. Man, that's why you could be a superhero. Okay, if you're looking for loans too, this is a better way to get loans, peer-to-peer -peer internet loans. You know, they're better, faster, cheaper. You know, Lending Club Prosper. I mean, it cuts out the middleman and the banks who make all the money. So uh, this is people who lend money uh, to individuals that need money without a middleman. It's just a platform. So now you go to the bank and to put your money in a savings account, you get 1%. You go to the bank to borrow money and you pay 15%. Right, so who's getting that 14%? The bank. Here, you go to the the, the internet and you put money there and they, you get maybe four, five, six percent. Somebody buys, you know, is borrowing it for seven, eight, nine percent. You know, so everybody's win, win, win. You know, community bank, we finance, uh, upstart. That's new loans for college grads because they don't. Now, also, community banks. These are better banks than your big banks because they're interested in the community. The big banks are just interested in investors you know, and, and getting money for investors. These are in community banks. So they're more friendly, uh, they're easier, they get government grants to help them and things like that. Also what's interesting too, I think uh, anyone starting a business is <clears throat> to learn to make money on the side easily. That's flexible. So if you can in a boring day and nothing's going on to take three mountain hours off and, and make, you know, a hundred bucks or whatever it is, you know, to help pay the bills, this is a way to do it. And this is on the on-demand economy now. This is the gig economy. There's more, you know, things happening in the gig economy now than anything. I mean, things like Airbnb and Uber. I mean, they have no employees. You know, Airbnb, you know, which rents out, like if you have an extra room in your house, you could rent that out. 
you know, or even your sofa, you know, and make extra money. You put on Airbnb, they handle the, the, uh, uh, the insurance, they handle the marketing, they handle, you know, anything, the kind of problem, the payments, they get the money ahead of time. You don't have to worry about the people. They vet the people ahead of, all this kind of stuff. It, it, and that company is already worth about $25 billion and it's only been around about six, seven years or something like that. Yeah. You know, and it's amazing. Hyatt Hotels is only worth 10 billion. So you got Airbnb 25, Hyatt at 10 and Hyatt has 80,000 employees, Airbnb only has 2,000 employees. But listen to this, with only 2,000 employees, there's a million people making money off of that. See, and you could do that with your car, you could do that with you know, your, your golf clubs even, or your bicycle. I mean, there's so many ways to make money on a, you know, a casual basis, on an on-demand on basis, like having no boss and he didn't make money today. I was talking to a guy downtown who stopped me on his bicycle. He was a Russian translator. <laughs> and he lost his job at the State Department. Now he's delivering on his bicycle. He says he gets exercise and he makes money and he works only when he wants to because it's, oh, if you have a, you know, um, a smartphone, you got, you know, money coming in. And that's all what it's about. You don't need fancy resumes, no bosses, no schedule. You work when you want. You only work for the salary you want. The website takes care of everything and you're guaranteed to get paid. Man, it's just terrific, you know, and millions of people are doing that nowadays. And it's where the growth is. You know, the, the growth in these kind of jo jobs is exploding and the growth in traditional jobs is shrinking. So any growth in our country now is not going to come from traditional jobs. It's coming from this. So I got 46 websites that show you uh, about all these things. And what you got to do is look at the other thing I have here, you know, from peers.org. They evaluate about half of those. So you can go to that website and see how good they are, you know, and about how much you make. I mean, you make 15, 20, 25 bucks an hour uh, mostly doing this stuff. But that's better than being at a barista, you know, trying to do that part time at, at um, you know, uh, uh, the coffee shop when they got to be there every Tuesday from 5 to 930 at night here. You work whenever the hell you want to, right? Okay, other income opportunities I have. Go through that list. It, it's on your uh, uh, how to have people over your house for dinner making money. You know, how to, how to get your car repaired 40% off. You got extra land. How to make $30,000 on that. That You like pets. How you can make like $30,000, $40,000 a year just to have an extra pet or two because people don't like taking their pets to, you know, the these... Uh, you know, dog kennels when they go away. So you take a pet for a few days, and this is what people are making. This is a booming business. You know, and again, all the the, the weird stuff, you know, the heavy duty stuff is taken care of. Or how to start a business, you know, I mean, a store for 20 cents. That's what I show you here, too. And I got 28 people, too, that show you how they do it step by step. It costs nothing to start a store on anything nowadays to be in the biggest mall in the world for only 20 cents. So that's that's why if you have to keep your soul together while, while doing something else, you know, then that's how to do it with these kinds of uh, tools, because these are the way that the number, the tools that are growing and the rest of the traditional stuff is shrinking. So you want to be on the wave that's coming in, not on the wave that's coming out.